Hi guys, I'm super excited today because this is the first episode in VR. Yes, we are going to have a weekly episode in virtual reality where you can watch and be right in my kitchen with me. Today we're making salmon patties and we're not just making salmon patties, we're going to compare fresh salmon to canned salmon and see what the difference is in the final pattern. So, as always, grab the ingredients and let's get started. All right, the first thing we have to do is prepare our vegetables. I got some fresh bell peppers, some onion, and some garlic from my garden. And we're gonna just chop this up and put it in the pan. Let's take out the seeds. Because seeds make bitter, so make sure you get all the seeds out of your bell peppers. And slice them finely. And we'll get one of these sweet peppers. We'll also add uh, one onion, actually we add half an onion, half a yellow onion, half a red onion. I always like to add red onions because they taste much, well, not, you know, not better, but they have a different flavor, a bit sweeter um, than other onions. So that's all the veggies we need. I'm still crying from the onion. Now, get the pan to medium heat, and in my induction that's about four or five, but of course it depends on everybody's different pot. We'll add a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we'll just add everything in here. And we saute it until it's translucent and lightly brown. Now, while I'm sauteing the onions and the peppers, I'm going to pop the fresh salmon into the oven. Just a little bit of oil. Add the salmon fillet. We're going to salt it a little too much. Add a bit of pepper. And we'll let this cook in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes until the salmon is cooked, and then we'll get up. Last but not least, and just before everything is cooked, I'm adding in my garlic. And garlic cooks quite quickly, and because we're actually pureeing it, or we're putting it to the garlic press, we don't want it to burn. So we'll leave it at the end. And I'm going to add three garlic cloves. Now, I always say this, I love garlic, so I add a little bit of color to everything. But if you're not such a big fan of garlic, just go with one or two. But trust me, three works great. The vegetables are ready from the onion and the pepper. And we have to let them cool down a bit, so I'll pop them in this mixing bowl, which I'll use for the next step. Now, because we are running a test today, uh, I'm going to split the mixture into two, so we can try one with uh, fresh salmon and we can try the other one with canned salmon. So for now, I will just let this cool down and while it cools, let's prepare the next part. We will need an egg. And we'll just wake this up a little bit. We'll add a little bit more salt and pepper. And I go easy on the salt and pepper because you can always add salt at the end, but it's not so easy to get rid of it. So just a little bit. Whisk it in. And I also have here two tablespoons of mayonnaise, which I'm gonna add in there too. And 
last but not least, we're adding in a secret ingredient, and that's a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So we'll just add a few drops. And that is enough. Okay, and we'll mix this in a minute. We'll let it cool down a little bit because we don't want the egg to actually cook when I add it into the hot veggies. And let's check on the salmon see if it's ready. The salmon is ready and it looks delicious. And what we have to do next is just break it up into smaller bits. And we'll let this cool down as well before we make our pads. The veggies have cooled down, the salmon is almost cooked, so we can go to the next step and we can combine this, uh, the veggies with the egg. Now, we'll need a fork and just whip this up a little more. Add the mixture into the vegetables. Mix it up a little. And now we'll have to split the mixture in two just so we can make our test. And I'll just add half of it in here. And I'll leave the other half here. Okay. A little bit more, maybe. That's it. And now we'll add the fresh salmon on this side. And we'll add the canned salmon on this side. Now we're going to add a little less of the canned salmon, I think. I think two cans turned out more um, than the two fillets. So we'll just leave this on the side. Mm -hmm. Now, the canned salmon is a bit harder, so we have to break it up a little bit with the fork. And let's mix in the fresh salmon, which looks absolutely beautiful. Now we have two more ingredients and then we're ready to fry up the patties. And one is half a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. So we'll just add half in here and half in here. And the breadcrumbs will bring it all together and give it a nice texture. And it will also absorb any um, liquid that like, might be too much, you know, just so they actually do hold together. That's it. And the fresh salmon goes. You don't need to clean the pan from the previous steps because it's just going to add additional flavor. So we'll add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And we'll also add a couple of tablespoons of butter, which is going to make it totally rich. And we'll just let this heat up, and then we'll start making our pads. And let's make the fresh pads. So it seems to me the fresh pads are not as dry as the canned ones. So it's more moist, and it seems to stick together much better as well. I mean, it's much easier to form um, a patty than it was with um, with the canned ones. But let's see, maybe they hold together better as well. With the canned one, you see a few of them fell a little bit apart. Um, but I have a feeling that the fresh ones are not going to fall apart. So let's see. Fresh salmon patties are ready too. Let's get them out of here. And I was worried that we might not be able to use know which ones are the canned ones and which ones are the fresh ones, but they look very different. So I don't think we'll have a problem um, separating them in a test test. I can't wait to see which one is better. Now, I realized during the filming 
that we actually forgot to add one of the ingredients. But that's okay, we'll add it on top. We have a little bit of parsley that we wanted to chop up and add into the recipe, which uh, we left behind. Now, these are ready. Let me clean up and then we'll have a taste test. See you in a moment. The moment of truth has arrived. Which is the better salmon patty? Canned salmon or fresh salmon? Now, before we go to the taste test, if you like this video, make sure you press that like button. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want to see any specific recipe on this channel, make sure you leave it in the comments. Now, let's go for the taste test. Now, this one is a canned one, and this one is a fresh one. And I'm going to start off with canned. Here we go, ready? Mm. Okay, the flavor is great. Mm. It's, it's moist, it's nice and crispy on the outside. I really like the flavor of this. Not gonna lie, it's canned, but I really like it. Let's see if the fresh holds up. Here we go. Hmm. Fresh is also great, but if I'm honest, I think can actually tastes better. Wow, let me try again. No, fresh? Great, I mean, nothing wrong with it. It tastes delicious, but let's go with can again. Oh. Wow. Now that's a surprise, guys. Actually, can is better, I mean, it's exactly the same recipe. The only thing that's changed is the salmon. We have our canned and fresh. And the only assumption I have is that the salmon is maybe kept in oil in the can, so maybe it absorbs that, which makes it more moist, or I don't know. But wow, that's a surprise. <laughs> now, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'll see you next week.